Hello wonderful people of God. So we come your way this month with exciting news from the camp of our man of God, Dr. Ego Damina, as he shares insights with us on the knowledge of the scriptures concerning the character of God in salvation. So we want you to stay glued to your screen as we broadcast this every day and do the work of an evangelist for us by sharing this message always. Also, like this message and then comment whatever you learn in the comment section. Thank you. And if you're new here, please don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you. So give me James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Giveth to all. The word dido me. Give it to all. It means who shares. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask. James wants you to see God in a qualifier. Let him ask of the giving God. A giving God. How does he give? He gives perfect gifts and he gives good gifts. Who gives unto who? He gives unto all men. How does he give unto all men? Liberally is the Greek word haplos. He gives in sincerity without complications. He gives in sincerity without complications unconditionally. Haplos. H-A-P-L-O-S. That's the Greek word. The word haplos is from another Greek word haplos. H-A-P-L-O-U-S. Haplos. Look at Matthew 6 22. Jesus used it in Matthew chapter 6, verse number 22. Read for me. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. If therefore your eye be single, your body will be full of light. In other words, God doesn't play around, God is sincere. God is not a hypocrite who will tell you thou shall not kill and he will turn back the other side and be killing. God is sincere in his disposition. His eye is single. His body is full of light. Where God is concerned, it is what you see that you get. There are no hidden agendas. He doesn't play around. There's no iota of doubt in him. Your eye be single. Look at the way Jesus will use it. Luke eleven thirty four. Luke chapter 11, verse number 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. When thy eye is evil, your whole body is full of darkness. God is light, which means his eye is single. We're talking about James now. James is saying, pray to God who gives to all men liberally unto all he gives to all not to christians he gives to all you know i've been busting some things this last week he gives to all many of you think god is a christian <laughs> god is not a christian when you finish laughing i repeat god is not a christian You know, many of you think if you are not a Christian, you won't go to heaven. Lie. There's no salvation in... When did Christianity start? People went to heaven before Christianity started. Christianity started in Antioch, in the book of Acts. So God is not a Christian. That should humble you a bit. And that should start adjusting your theology. Christianity started in Acts, in Antioch, and it is unbelievers that gave the name. Unbelievers gave you a name that you are carrying as a condition for going to heaven. It is unbelievers. Unbelievers who watch the people that were adherents of Brother Paul's teaching. 
after teaching for some time and they saw the transformation that happened to these people that means before then they didn't have name as christians they were called believers they were called almagiris disciples they were paul's almagiris <laughs> they were disciples of paul <laughs> they were disciples of paul then the people say well instead of just calling them disciples disciples the transformation we see in them they look like christ let's call them christians but before then many people have gone to heaven including the thief on the cross so you don't have to be a christian to make heaven abraham was not a christian isaac and jacob were not christians moses was not a christian abel was not a christian isaiah was not a christian david was not a christian all the patriarchs were not christians <laughs> even jesus is not a christian Even Jesus is not a Christian. That's hot revelation coming from that side. <laughs> Matthew 8, 10 to 12. What took me there now? <laughs> Remember what took me there? If not, I will carry you around. Matthew 8, 10 to 12. Read for me, girl. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Jesus was surprised that non-Israelites were operating faith more than Israelites. To whom the adoption came, to whom the oracles of God were given. Yet those without the oracles of God were expressing more faith than those that had the oracles. I have not found so great faith. No, not these guys were not Christians. Look at the next verse, girl. Read for me the next verse. I'm going somewhere with this. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Next verse. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Selah. <laughs> Many shall come from the west, the south, the east. That are not Christians. And they shall be seated. And many who are Christians will be in darkness. There's no salvation in any religion, including Christianity. Salvation is in a person. His name is Jesus. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be what? Saved. Whether you're a traditional worshiper, you're a pagan, you are in Ekanka, you are in Amok, you are in Oboni, you are a Muslim, a Hindu, a Shintoist, whatever religion. The moment you hear the gospel and your heart opens to the gospel and you believe the gospel, you are seated in heaven with Christ. Immediately. There is no salvation in order, any other. There is no name under heaven given among men whereby men shall be saved except the name of Jesus. Religion can't take that. But who cares? We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.